What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Ethan from PC Juice here. How are you all doing today? I'm bringing you a new series. I know it's another new series. I really need to stick through with some, but I'm trying to find some that I like that I can continue on and on again with glee and joy in my heart. So this is a new series and basically I am a information geek. I like to know about things. I like to know random facts. That way when people ask me about things, I can respond with something intellectual and um, help them out. So basically I am online a lot. I stalk these websites that have cool facts like reddit.com forward slash r slash today I learned and these websites give me some really cool stuff and I like to memorize them because I find them to be cool. So I decided uh, that every week I was going to log the stuff I found that was the coolest and tell it to you guys. One thing that I don't know what to do about is the name for this series. I really don't know what I should call it. A name I was thinking of was like TWIL, uh, TWIL Tuesdays, This Week I Learned Tuesdays. I don't know what you guys want, but if you have any name suggestions, I would advise you leave them down below. Now, now a second premise I should say is all links for anything I talk about are down below and you can check those out anytime. So let's go ahead and get right into this. Uh, by the way, I am playing Torchlight 2 on my Let's Play world, just sort of advancing on before the next Let's Play so I can show you, so I can make some advancements uh, and the Let's Play won't take forever. Now uh, let's go ahead and just jump right into this and start with the first fact. So right off the bat, I'd like to talk about this UK game retailer called GameStation. GameStation is a game uh, retailer that sells video games to the public, sort of like GameStop if you live in the United States. Basically, a EULA is a it's an agreement between a company and a user to anything really. Um, that ba ba basically it's like a terms of service, and in their EULA, they inserted an immortal soul clause, stating that the consumer agreed to transfer their souls to the company. That, that's a big deal. Like, transferring your soul to a company is like, Irma Gerd, that's, that's, that's pretty, pretty big. And 7,500 people neglected to untick the box. That means they didn't read it, or they just genuinely were like, Mkai, you can have my soul. But I, I highly doubt that. I just think they didn't read the EULA. And that just shows that people don't really pay attention to these things. And companies can slip in some pretty sneaky stuff into these that most people wouldn't expect they would do. So they just don't read them. But in actuality, these companies can put in things that can really change your life. And obviously, the game or game station wasn't planning to do anything harmful with this. But if a company was trying to do something, malicious they could because people don't read the terms of service and that's a big deal so I thought I would let you guys know about that just start reading the terms of service if you can unless they're ridiculously long and they're a well-trusted company but like read your terms of service man like th th those are big deals so now the next subject I'd like to talk about is this guy named Sugar Ray Robinson Sugar Ray Robinson was a boxer you know what I'm saying he was doing the little back and forth uh, he's in the Hall of Fame because he was a badass boxer and basically, one day, Sugar Ray backed out of a fight. And this was very unusual for Sugar Ray because he's, you know, he's a Hall of Fame boxer. He's a, bo he's a boxer. He does, he does boxing and fights people and kicks their ass. And so backing out of a fight was like, whoa, what's up? And basically, he had a dream that he was going to kill his opponent in the ring. Like, he, he, he was laying down at night, and he, he dreamed of himself killing his opponent. So he decided to back out because he thought it was a sign. Now, a priest and a minister were like, Robinson, yo bro, Ray, this is no sign, you should box, this is a big deal, you're a professional boxer, you're supposed to box, you're not going to kill anybody, yeah, blah 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 blah, and they finally convinced him to go fight. After they convinced him to go fight, the next day, he goes into the ring, and he kills his opponent. He kills his opponent in the boxing ring after dreaming that he was going to. That's, that's ridiculous, like, and that, that, that priest and minister must have felt like shit, because they just cost that guy his life. The guy, by the way, who he killed was Jimmy Doyle. They just cost Jimmy Doyle his life, because they didn't think he would kill him. That, that's just nuts and ridiculous, and I hope they feel like shit, because Jimmy Doyle died, and Ray, uh, it's Sugar Ray, totally knew it was gonna happen. I hope I can call him Sugar Ray. Rest in peace if he's dead. I don't even know. But <laughs> hope I hope Sugar Ray is okay with me calling him Sugar Ray. But Sugar Ray knew. And he tried to stop it. And these ministers and priests convinced him to. And that that's just ridiculous and asinine to me. The next subject is about Gandhi. Gandhi was a Indian dude who was basically for peace and all that stuff. And I don't know that much about him. I'm not going to preach about him. I actually need to learn more about him because he's a big figure in history. But uh, 
basically, he used to sleep next to young Indian girls in order to test it, in order to resolve his chastity naked. Like, he would sleep naked next to these Indian girls to resolve his chastity. And I thought that was just really weird, because it was like, I have to resolve my chastity, I'm gonna go sleep next to, like, beautiful young Asian, or Indian women. And I just thought that was, that was, that was just a weird fact. I don't have much leading into that, but, uh, I just thought it was a weird fact. So you can go ahead and read about that from independent.co.uk down below. The links, like I said, are down there. Uh, the next thing I actually learned from Vsauce, I was watching one of his videos. I think it's Two Birds uh, in, in One Hand or something like that. I can't remember the exact video title. Uh, actually, I, it's going to be linked down below, obviously, so you can go check that out. But uh, basically, in it, he explained the sentence buffalo 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 and at first you think that sounds like a bunch of gibberish that that can't mean mean anything but if you actually look into it the uh, the word buffalo has three different meanings and buffalo can mean the the animal and not only can it mean the animal it can also mean the city of buffalo and it can mean to harass and confuse and like bully so Basically, this is a completely grammatically correct sentence. Those eight buffaloes, in case you're trying to count, eight buffaloes is completely grammatically correct, and it, it actually means something. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you what it means. I if you analyze it, you'll eventually sort of figure out that it means bison from the city of Buffalo. The bison from the city of Buffalo bully also happened to bully other bison from the city of Buffalo. Now, that sounds sort of confusing. You can go ahead and re-listen to that, but it basically means by bullying bison, bully bison that bully other bison from the city of Buffalo, which is pretty ridiculous, and it's just eight buffaloes back to back to back to back, and I will go ahead and write out which one should be in caps down below in the description above that link. The next thing I'd like to talk to you about is the Reddit section slash r slash aw. Slash aw is a cute section. If you ever want to be like, oh, that is pretty and cute and whatnot, you should go there. They have some really cool stuff. It's all puppies and things with puppy eyes, and it's it's cute. If you ever want to make a girl say, oh, you can go there because it's freaking amazing. And I sort of want this section to be bigger because you have to wait for new content because I understand cute things don't happen on the greatest basis ever, but they need to happen more often and we need to post them there. So we're trying to get this place to grow. So go ahead and subscribe to that Reddit section there because it is freaking amazing. The next thing I'd like to talk about is the average NFL game feature. It features 10 minutes and 43 seconds of action. That's right. 10 minutes and 43 seconds of action. Now, explaining this a little further, they have about three hours of tv broadcast for 10 minutes and 43 seconds of action commercials account for nearly 60 minutes of that three hours 60 minutes of the three hours is commercials that's already ridiculous and when the networks are showing the game air quotes you can see them you know what i'm talking about the bulk of the time is spent either on replays or shots of players huddling now i found this interesting because i had watched football before and in the nfl um the nfl is a national football league for you uh people outside of the united states it's football it's not football it's football uh we throw things Google it, NFL, and basically these games are three hours long, 10 minutes and 43 seconds of action, 60 minutes of commercials, and the rest is spent huddling. Like, I've watched football before, and it's ridiculous. You sit there and just watch, like, replays and huddles, and it's boring, and I don't, it, it, like, people love it, but personally to me it's boring. Like, they need to have more action, or at least make it more compact, and I just thought that was, that was pretty ridiculous, and that article sort of previewed my suspicions from before because I had actually like noticed that in the past. So the last thing I want to talk about today is a complete badass. I want to say a complete badass. There was a man named Rick Rascola. Rascola. Um, he was the security director for a company, a financial company, if I'm not mistaken, called Morgan Stanley. Their base was in their home, like place where they operated was in the World Trade Center. Now, as many of you may know, on 9-11-2001, uh, the World Trade Center was attacked by terrorists from Al-Qaeda and they bombed the place and it fell. But Rick Rascola knew that eventually that uh, the World Trade Center would be attacked. So he drew up a awesomely detailed plan to swiftly evacuate all of the employees and he did a damn nice job of it he stayed at that job even though even though he knew it would be attacked he knew the building would be attacked but he stuck sticked with the job and he saved he rescued 2687 lives all but 13 of the 2700 morgan stanley employees after the place was bombed that is ridiculous. He was a complete badass. He died when the building collapsed, trying to rescue those last people. That That is just a great story. It's been detailed other places, but I thought that I, I felt that I needed to 
convey that to you guys and tell you guys about that story because that story is amazing he is a boss he deserves recognition and uh that's really all i've got to say so i hope you guys enjoyed this new series i'm gonna go ahead and cut to the outro now so boom all right so now we're in the outro boom it is and on the left we have a video about the new server ip we had to switch host because the old host shut down we did transfer the file so no worries but on the video that is the new ip in case you missed it on the right is just the poem about explaining why i was gone for such a long time and i'd like to leave you guys with a few words if you have any random facts that you would like me to use for next episode go ahead and leave those down below in the description i hope you guys enjoyed this video today if you did go ahead and subscribe like the video Video, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace!